Ooh, yay, we're live. <laughs> I am in classroom one of Crescent Moon Gifts. Um, let me show you what it looks like right now. It's it's all tucked away, but it's uh, one of our pretty spacious classrooms where we normally have our different classes. Normally we have tables and chairs. We can fit, well, I fit like 16 people in here, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. So if you are joining me today, we're doing something kind of special. We're learning effective candle magic. This is my favorite class to teach. I've been teaching at Crescent Moon Gifts for quite some time now. And Effective Candle Magic is one of those classes that uh, is great for beginners as well as seasoned practitioners or those of you who are just curious about how to take your candle magic to the next level. So today I ask all of you guys at home watching with me to have a notepad, a pen or paper, a pen or pencil so you can take your notes. Um, and we're going to be learning a lot of really cool stuff to help elevate your candle magic. I'm going to wait just a few moments while everyone is getting on board. Also, guys, keep in mind that we are uh, doing curbside pickup now. So if you love the products that you see while we're learning in class together, I do have Cheryl as my assistant. She's in the front half of the store because we're practicing social distancing. And she will be able to. So if you like something and you want to add it, you want to purchase it and take it home, all you have to do is on the comments, write the name of the item that you like and the word sold, S-O-L-D, sold, yes. And then send us at the end of the video, you can send us a, please send us a direct message to the Crescent Moon page with your name, your phone number, your shipping address, if you need it to be shipped, and uh, we'll go from there. And we'll contact you once we have it all together, and we can send you all your goodies. So hi, everyone. We have like a couple of people watching. We have like 20-something. That's good. Uh, and uh, welcome to Effective Candle Magic. Let me give you a little sneak peek at all the cool stuff that we're going to be talking about today. And bear with me, it's my first time teaching with just my cell phone. So here we have all the new candles and oils that just came in. This is just a fraction of what we normally carry in our store. I have way more still to process, but it's time for, for learning. We also have lots of cool stuff here that we're gonna be learning about, how to use some beautiful rollerball gemstone bottles and vials with all the cool nifty little things that you might need. So you can carry your oils with you. We have some candles that we're gonna talk about because of course, this is effective candle magic. And we have some sprays and cleansing products. Oh, and there's my fiber orange drink because homeboy is trying to shed a little bit of weight. Quarantine made me a little too happy, if you know what I mean. Okay, so effective candle magic. When we talk about candle magic, I like to think of it as something that inherent, inherently anyone can do. But like just like cooking and i often i often like to compare magic to cooking just like cooking anyone can cook but is your meal gonna be delicious is it going to feed the people that you want so is it going to be effective and furthermore um is it gonna come out the way that you want it to so we're gonna start talking about magic and what it is and First, while we start this class, this is usually how I start my class um, when I'm teaching at Crescent Moon. Hi, everyone. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Casey. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, I miss you guys too. So I'm going to flip my camera so you guys can see the board while I'm writing. So I often like to think of this analogy. So will, which is our ability to desire, to want, okay, plus, all right, imagination. Okay, this is our ability to visualize, okay? When, so to visualize, to emote it, to feel it as well. Okay, so will or desire, imagination to be able to see and feel. When we put these two things together, okay, we get magic. All right. Pretty simple kind of formula, you'd have to say. So you need to be able, in order to manifest properly, to be able to desire it, to want it, to understand it. You should also be able to see it, to feel it, to imagine as if you already have it, to imagine that you're already there, you've already achieved your, your, um, your goal that you're trying to manifest. And when these two things are in alignment, you get magic, you get to manifest stuff, which is pretty cool. So I like to think of magic like a lot, like cooking, like recipes. And we should follow our recipes as closely as possible. There's a reason why um, the person who designed the recipe, or in this case, a spell, uh, may have certain ingredients or um, may ask for you to do the spell on a certain day. There's a whole reason and, and kind of like arcane science to it. And we're going to talk about that. So going back to the board. So we have the days of the week, Sunday, Monday, happy days, Tuesday, Wednesday, happy, okay, no, I'm not going to sing that. Anyway, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, and then we have the glyphs. These are the symbols for each planet that rules each of those days. If you are just tuning in, please feel free to take notes and have fun. Um, I have Cheryl on standby in the other part of the store. And if there's items, once we start talking about items that you want to add to your basket and you want to shop, please feel free to comment the name of the item and sold and then send us a direct message at the end. But right now we're talking about the days of the week. If for some reason you have missed the beginning of this video, then please feel free at the end of the video to go ahead and start it from the beginning. You can watch it. And uh, you can watch it as many times as you want. And again, this is a online mini version of the class that I love to teach. So back to the days of the week, right? So each day of the week is ruled by a different planet. And in turn, a different type of energy is associated with it. So Sunday, we'll start from the beginning. Sunday, and its glyph is a circle with a dot, is ruled by the sun. <laughs> That's easy, right? And many cultures are all about, for many years, we're all about sun worship. Now, Sunday is a wonderful day, I feel, for anything that has to do with energy, work. I also like men's health on Sundays. Um, anything that has to do with maybe happiness, anything associated with the sun <coughs> is a really great time to work on Sunday. And I'm not going to cover every single aspect of every day. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time for that. 
Um, but you can always do a little more research online. Scott Cunningham is one of my favorite authors as well. He talks about um, different associations and symbols that you can add to your repertoire. Uh, let me write that down actually before I forget. So Scott Cunningham, his books, Living Wicca and Wicca for the Solitary Practitioner are awesome. I also love Raymond Buckland and his Candle Magic books are amazing. Uh, for those of you who like newer voices, a really great new author is Devin Hunter. He's in my age group. He owns a store much like the one that I work at. He's pretty cool. He knows what he's talking about. So those are some authors to kind of like tune into. Okay, back to the days of the week. All right, Monday. Monday is the moon. Easy enough. Most of the days will kind of have some kind of like tell in their name of like what they represent. So Monday being the moon. The moon. It's me, the moon. It's going to deal with, and so if Sunday was men's health, Monday, the moon, will be women's health. Also, because Monday is the moon, anything ruled by the moon will have a little burst of it to, to your magic. So I actually really like divination work, psychic work. Anything like that is really great on Mondays. Tuesday, moving on to Tuesday, or Tears Day. So Tuesday is named after Tear. Is ruled by, or is represented by Mars. So again, each day has a different planet. And that's, keep that in mind. That's really important. So Mars. All right. So anything that has to do with action, agility, so action, agility, if you need to have power over a situation, dominate, think of what Mars represents, that's going to be Tuesday. Sorry for my sloppy handwriting, even though Liana loves it. I'm writing really quick, so I apologize. All right, I'm going to also erase as I go so that we can have enough space on the board. But don't worry if you're taking notes at home because you can rewatch the video. You can rewind. Wednesday. Wednesday is my favorite day, you guys. Not a lot of people know this about me, but I love Wednesday. Wednesday is um so wedness day that's how i remember how to spell it wedness day okay so wednesday in spanish is miércoles i hope i'm spelling that right my grandmother's probably rolling in her grave because she was a spanish teacher and i should know how to spell that but Miércoles, miércoles, sounds like Mercurio, and that will lead us to Mercury, hell yeah. All right, so a lot of people have like a love-hate relationship with Mercury, but I will tell you this, in my path, I have learned that it is very insightful and very helpful to learn to work with Mercury as opposed to against it. But that will be a discussion for another day. So Mercury, which is this sigil, represents the planet Mercury. What does Mercury rule? Well, Mercury rules, for starters, communication. That's why during retrograde, all of these things kind of go a little haywire. So we have communication, we have transportation, because he is the messenger of the gods, okay. He is considered the high magician, 
oftentimes, and he therefore rules magic. He is considered a trickster as well. So think of the magician archetype in tarot. And because of that, he also rules luck, gambling, commerce, merchants, travel. Are we seeing a theme yet? Okay. So Mercury is all of these things and very much more. And little side note, if you want to learn more about Mercury, I always recommend for those of you who are ready to kind of learn a little bit more, check out the Kabbalion. You can find the audiobook on YouTube. It's really interesting stuff. So the Kabbalion on YouTube. It should be like, it's a couple of hours long. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, listen to a little bit every day, whatever, go at your pace. But the Kabbalion is very insightful. As you start listening to this, you will also be hearing and learning about the seven hermetic principles or the seven universal laws, as some people like to call it. And you'll notice that there's a lot of um, universal truths in the Kabbalion, where whether it's Wicca or Santeria or Buddhism or Catholicism, these seven hermetic principles can be found. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, so that's Wednesday. Now, Thursday, my second favorite day of the week. Ooh, not just because you're consecutive. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> so, kind of erasing a little bit. So, Thursday, Thursday. So, Thursday is named after Thor. And Thursday is ruled by Jupiter. This is the glyph for Jupiter. And Jupiter is the planet of expansion, riches, abundance, growth. So he is the largest planet in the freaking solar system. So if ever you need to work with something about growth, Road opening work. Okay. Things like that. Abundance, prosperity, riches. Jupiter. That's your homeboy. Friday. Fridays, I'm in love. Fridays are ruled by Freya. And she is known as a love goddess, as, as one of her attributes. Um... And its ruling planet, whoo, dropped my marker. I guess she did not like blue because that's Jupiter's color. So sorry, homegirl. Let's switch it up to red. Venus. Let's try that one more time. V-E-N-U-S. And now you can see that it says Venus. Yay. Oh, boy. All right, thanks for bearing with me so far. I know I'm a little bit of an absent-minded professor. So Venus, she rules love, absolutely. Beauty, attraction. These are some key words to keep in mind, okay? Love, beauty, attraction, friendship. Why not? Mercury is also really good for friendships, I want to say. Um, and then last but not least, we have Saturn. I feel like I got my glyph a little wrong. I always get 
thing is a little cross. There you go. Saturn, its glyph is like a scythe almost. Um, Saturn is known also as chronos. So that we think of the word chronological. This means time. Okay, so Saturn is time, justice, so the law, anything like that, limitations. That's why when people are having Saturn returns, we hear that they're going through some difficult times. This is, Saturn is all about bringing into focus, okay, um, the things that need to be limited and addressed. So time Justice, limitations. Sat Saturdays are great days for protection, magic, things you need to get rid of. So, banishings. All right, following me so far? Cool. So, we've done every single day of the week so far. And now we're going to talk about some of the more popular reasons why people come to uh, candle magic or ask me about candle magic while I'm working at the shop. Now, there's going to be three main things we're going to talk about. We'll talk about love, money, okay, and protection. I feel that these are the main three things that I get asked for often for assistance with. And we'll start with money because I love money. Who does it? Well, I mean, I, I love that it is able to like, you know, pay for things like a roof over my head um, and put food on my table. All right. So when we talk about money, <laughs> Thanks, Casey. When we talk about money, uh, depending on what part of the world you're in, you might have a different type of um, symbol, much like the, the glyphs for the planets. And in the U.S., we have this symbol to represent money. Um, if you're in another part of the world, you have a different symbol, and that's absolutely fine. Now, in the U.S., we think of money as the color green. However, money is not always green. Money is many different colors depending on where you are. So I like to think of the color of abundance. And if you've been following so far, you guessed it, the color is blue. So if you're going to do money magic, I always recommend to incorporate some blue in honor of Jupiter. Okay. And this represents abundance. Now, yes, a lot of pre-made candles are green in the U.S., and again, that's because in the U.S. money is green, but as an overall, I truly prefer to use blue. This is a tip that I learned. I have found it to be extremely effective. So we're combining a couple of things at this point. We're combining color, We're combining the day. So we're going to do this on a Thursday because it's ruled by Jupiter. So we want to have all the same kind of energies to amplify what we're working on. So use the color associated with the planet. Do it on the day associated with its ruler. Okay. So money, blue, Jupiter, abundance, Thursday. That's pretty easy. Now let's do love. Love, when I think of love, when most people think of love, we think of this heart type of glyph, type of symbol. And you can feel free to add to it, to modify your symbols. Um, and I won't get into it too much just because of timing. But let's say maybe you want to work on your partnership I would draw another heart 
kind of interlocked and then a circle or a ring around both of them to represent the, their unity. So you can definitely add to your symbol and modify your symbol depending on your needs. Like with money, I sometimes like to add arrows to signify money everywhere. That's something you can do. You can also add more money symbols for to represent lots of money. Following me so far? Cool. So, with love, love now is pink, is pink. However, passion, so lust, desire, when you know you just want to spice up your life and your world and whatnot, then you're going to want red. So think of red stilettos, that red dress, red lipstick. So love, pink is for love, and for passion, you want red. This is ruled by Freya and Venus this kind of archetypal energy. The day of this is Friday. So you want to work love magic on a Friday as best as possible. Okay, so colors, symbols, the day. Now protection. We talked about how that's on best days, Saturdays. Now for protection, I there's a couple different symbols that I really like. I Personally, love a triquetra, like so, and you can. And I like it when it reaches outside of the circle. So good symbol for protection. You can also do a pentacle. Pentacles are when they're in a circle. Pentagram are when they're a star by itself. So this is a pentacle. So a triquetra, a pentacle, these are good symbols for protection, okay? Other good symbols, you could even do a circle to represent a person, and then several circles without to represent protection barriers. Um, that looks kind of funny. <laughs> okay, and then protection... A good day for protection is Saturday. So we're working with Saturn. Okay. And the color is black. Right. Saturday, Saturn, black. Okay, so we covered the three most asked about topics. Love, money, protection. We learned about their associated color their associated planet, and their associated properties. At least the quick version. I will implore you, please do your, you know, a little extra research if you feel so inclined, uh, because there is so much more that we're not discussing at the moment, but this is just like a really quick overview. Now, let's say, let's say my guest, Rita, I just made her up. I don't know any Rita's. Actually, I do know a Rita. She's in Seattle. But let's say Rita wants to do a money spell. Okay? She needs her money. Her bills are stacking up like a lot of us right now. And she needs to be able to manifest some money. Now, there's different... I like to think that magic will find the path of least resistance. And it will try the easiest way to give you what, what you're asking for as quickly as possible, usually. Um, side note, some people ask me, I'm like, oh, how long should a spell, like, should I wait? I usually say give it a lunar cycle. And my experience, a full lunar cycle is a good enough time. Um, but yeah, let's go back to, so Rita is trying to manifest some monies. And so now we're going to talk about spell structure. We, we want to be able to word it as best as possible. Leave no room for any misinterpretation or fault. So let's say I, let, let's say Rita 
or myself or whoever is like, oh, I universe, I need money. And she does her candle magic. She, she does everything right. But she doesn't specify how much she wants or how much she needs or how she's going to get it. And so Rita puts her hand in her like sweater pocket that she hasn't worn in weeks. And all of a sudden she finds five bucks. Did she manifest money? Yeah. But is it what she wanted? Not 100%. So let's get a little more detailed with it. Um, so you want to write all the details. So what a, a person, so a person who's a little more adept at manifesting will be like, I need, let's say two hundred dollars by next month. Also, side note, money magic should be preemptive, not as an emergency. It works better that way. You can use it as an emergency, but I've had I haven't had um, extreme like wowing results. Um, and I I feel it's more effective when you when you plan ahead. So that's just me though. All right, so I need two hundred dollars by next month, and sh how is she gonna do it? How is Rita gonna get those two hundred dollars? by having more hours at work. This is just an example. You can tweak this. Okay. And this is good. This is pretty, this is a step up. Okay, so now Rita does this spell like this. And what happens? Maybe now... Maybe now Rita all of a sudden has something happen at work where she has to come in and work overtime. And you know what? She did make this $200 by the next month, but she also worked a 60-hour week. So is that a desired effect? Mm, let's see how we can make that better. So Rita, I need $200 by next month by having more hours at work. And only working up to 40 hours a week. So now we gave it another level, another layer. This is what she wants. This is how she's going to achieve it. And this is the guideline by only working up to 40 hours a week. You can also add on to that. And then I like, so now Rita has some more structure to her petition, her money magic spell. So she gets a call from her boss and her boss is like, you know what? Um, Susan in HR is going on vacation and we have extra hours. Would you like to come in? Um, you'll be working up to 40 hours. And Rita's like, yeah, that's great. And so now she makes the money that she's trying to manifest. But then another uh, something that's in her blind spot that we're not seeing is after bills, Rita is now negative 50 bucks plus overdraft fees in her bank account. So she didn't think about that. So let's add another layer to this. Oops. Okay. And may I have uh, all my bills paid for? So you can say something like that. You can word it like, may I have the $200 on top of having all my bills paid for? So essentially what we're doing is we're making sure there's no, no little crack in what we're asking for because the universe will try to give it to you and give it to you fast. And the universe doesn't know what you need because what's right for you is completely different with what's right for me. 
So like what is abundant for me is perspective to what is abundant to Isabella who lives in Argentina. We have completely different monetary systems. So try not to leave any, like, I guess, any room for error is what I meant to say when you're writing your spells. So let's see what this looks like now. I need $200 by next month by having more hours at work and only working up to 40 hours a week. And may I have all my bills paid for? And then now just, just as a little bit of insurance, I like to add as well. And may no harm come to any Because sometimes maybe the easiest way to make that money could be maybe Susan in HR slipped and fell and twisted her ankle, you know, and her loss is your gain. And that can be okay for some, but for those of you who are more on Wic Wiccan minded, you can add the, and may no harm come to any, and in harm none do as thou will, any cool or your, any of your favorite sayings like so. Okay, so that should give you an idea of what spell structure looks like. And what we're going to talk about now is actually how to put it all together. So we know what day to do it. We know um, what color to use. We also know uh, what type of energies we're going to work with. We can do some research to see what kind of symbols we want to use. And then alternatively, also, I won't get into this too much, but as a side note, I want you guys to look up. Hold on, let me use a camera. Planetary hours. Okay, so really quick, um, if you can do a Google search on your own time for planetary hours or planetary hour calculator, this is a system that works on a Chaldean system and divides the day and the night uh, within 24 um, fragments that don't really follow 60 minutes. So it, it all depends on what time the sun goes up and the sun goes down. And then each of those segments is then ruled by a different planet. So let's say you need to do your money spell, but you're working and you're busy and you can't do it on a Thursday. The only day you have to do it is on a Monday. Well, then you, if you do it on the planetary hour of Jupiter, you're going to get a burst of energy to help you make that more effective. Let's also say you really need to make this super effective. Well, if you do it on the day of and on the hour of, now you're adding another layer to it, and this is going to amplify and make your magic more effective. So planetary hour calculator. It's a nifty little trick. I hope you guys look into it and enjoy that. Okay, cool. So we're going to come over here. And we're going to look at some of our different candles. These are my favorite candles to be using whenever I do any kind of spell work. Um, we call them C6 or uh, tapers. Um, I, C6 because they look kind of like dynamite sticks almost. And we have them in just about every single color you can think of. In the store, I also have orange and brown if that's something that you need. Now, what's nifty about these candles is that they are, they have enough space for you to carve into them. And we were looking at all the different symbols earlier, and then just thinking about our Arita's money spell. We have her symbol for money. We have, let's add the symbol for Jupiter, because that's whose energy is going to help us. And then I like to think of a symbol I like to, um, that's going to represent the person, kind of like an energy signature, or represent your goal. And so in this case, let's say 
uh, Rita wants to manifest something really quick, so she's going to use a, a septagram, which represents all the planets, and it also represents magical transmutation or magical energy. So she has these three symbols. This is, if we if we were to pretend these were hieroglyphics, this is like her sentence of what she's trying to convey. And then, if she wants to make it more specific, she can maybe add her big three. So let's say Rita is an Aquarius with a Leo moon and a Gemini rising. She is very interesting. Uh, and then she can add those symbols on the, her candle as well to specify, this is for me. So these are the kind of candles I like to use. And again, we talked about colors. We do have every single color that you need. So whatever color you need, um, shoot us a message. We'll let you know. Catherine, how long do they burn for and how much do they cost? Um, you know, I haven't really timed myself how long they burn for, but I want to say possibly a couple of hours. Um, and they are about $1.99 a pop. They, we also have these cute little candle Holders are so adorable. If you, if you want to be like Celine Dion or Enya running through a castle, you know, and you need this. And these guys are only $7.99. They're super adorable. And they're perfect because then you don't have to worry about your candle flopping over or whatnot. Since we're talking about blue, we're going to stay with blue. Ta-da! Super cute. And this way you can carry it with you if you need to move, if you have limited space, you can leave it on your altar, what have you, right? So on one side of the candle, I'm going to draw it because I only have so many hands. So let's say this is our candle. And on one side, we're going to etch the symbols that we want and on the other side we're going to etch her personal symbols so that we know in a symbolical way that this candle represents her so her intentions and who she is okay cool Erica, really great question. How do you typically carve the symbols into candles? I use toothpicks or like shish kebab sticks or anything like that. Uh, Mary Ann, your question is, do you burn the whole thing for one spell? I like to. I really do. It's not always necessary, but I like to burn the whole candle down. I feel like it's being very complete and thorough. And then, uh, very good question. I totally kind of lapsed on that. And like, let's say you want to bring something towards you. Um, I, I've had people ask me this question, like, oh, what do I do with the nub if I have a nub? If you want to draw something to you, carry the nub. If you want to get rid of something, throw away the nub. It's as easy as that. Okay, cool. So after you carve your sim, so you have your spell written, you have your correct colored candle, you've Decide, decided what symbols you want. Now you're going to anoint the candle. Anointing. That means to use oil. Okay. That has been, that has perhaps a metaphysical property, a magical property. And you're going to use this, a particular oil that's right for your needs to essentially charge the candle with your intention and adding and giving to it more magical energy. So I'm going to draw one more candle really quick. I'll show you this. And after this, we can talk about more products because we'll be done with our mini lesson. You guys have been so great. I love all your questions. So we have a candle. <laughs> this is the top part with the little flame. Don't make fun of me. And then we have our oil. little oil bottle so many years in art school and this is the best I can do oh god 
Okay. And so with your oil, I like to add a few drops. Three is usually a good number to the center of the candle. And from the center, you're going to using your power hand, power. So if you're right handed, that's your power hand. If you're left handed, that's your power hand. So your dominant hand, and you're going to rub that oil from the center up towards the flame. And as you're ro rubbing the candle, we're going to imagine as ah, I, I need more hands. As you're rubbing the candle and anointing the oil, you're going to also turn your candle so that all of it is getting anointed. As you are doing this, you are going to be thinking and visualizing. Remember, imagination, see and feel, will, desire. You're going to you're going to feel what you want. You're going to think what you want. You're going to visualize what you want and you're going to visualize it and feel it as if you already have it, as if you already possess it. And then as you're doing that, you're going to do the you're going to add more oil. Doop, 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 doop. And now we're going to anoint towards the bottom of the candle. So once your candle is fully anointed, what you have successfully done by anointing your candle is that you have infused your candle with your will and your imagination. And all that's left to do is the fun dramatic part. So if you haven't by now casted a circle or learned to cast a circle, it looks like a circle, that's good enough. I recommend that you look into it because a lot like cooking, like I was saying earlier, um, magic is about building up energy, raising that energy and being able to release it. Uh, when we're cooking, we have a pot because we put all of our ingredients in it one by one. Let's say we're making a chicken soup. We you know we put in, uh, first we put the water, then we let the water boil, we add ingredients, we add maybe potato, maybe some carrots, our chicken that's already made, but we add these ingredients step by step. We keep on adding to the soup to make it perfect. So, and so think of your ingredients like your spell structure, the anointing of a candle. These are all different steps. These are all your different ingredients. And, and your pot is the circle that you casted because you're putting all these ingredients together. You're letting them all blend together, boil and bubble and do its thing. And when it's done, then you serve it up. So cast a circle. That's one of the many reasons why I like to cast a circle. There's many more. But for video's purpose, we'll, we'll only talk about that one. So you cast your circle, do your work, so in the do your work process, if you are familiar and comfortable with calling upon deities or the assistance of spirits and guides, um, however you want to call them, angels, goddesses, gods, fairies, this is the time where you call your assistance. So call your guides or assistants or entities. It's, so you cast in your circle, you call your guides, and it's kind of like calling a friend. You, you know, you want to, it's like calling a close friend that you really um, are in tune with. Um, if you if you don't if you're not super in tune with your guide or your deity, <clears throat> I like to um, focus on being very polite. So you know, don't be rude. <laughs> so call your guides if that's something that you feel called to do, and then the next step of do your work is the whole. You can have your spell written before, but the carving and candle dressing or anointing is the next step. Then this is the part where you light the candle. Okay. And then 
Oh, and Jasmine, to answer your question, it's from the center to each extremity to be able to infuse the candle completely with the energy that you want. Um, in some traditions, some people will go the opposite way, but for the most part, like 90% of practitioners will start from the center and, and from the center into each direction. Hi, Rachel. Okay, so, do, so cast your circle, do your work, and then when you're finally done, you've lit your candle, you've said your magic words, your prayer, what have you. When you're finally done with all of that, then you're going to thank your help or your guides. Okay, so thank them. Be, be kind. At, um, Wiccans will often have a little ceremony called cakes and ale after rituals or spells. That's kind of cool. I like to just leave, you know, like a glass of water or some wine for whoever I was working with on top of my altar as a thank you. I'll sometimes leave a little food offering, some uh, cakes. and So cakes and ale. Cakes and ale can be like crackers. It can be honey cake, a honey bun, whatever, whatever you feel your uh, allies, your guides would really enjoy. So cast your circle, do your work, thank your guides, and then finally, close your circle. So again, I don't have time to talk about um, casting circles, but please do your research because this will create a container for all of your energy to work with together and to work better. I guarantee it. Um, and don't take my word for it. Try some magic or try some manifesting uh, without a circle and then try it with and try all these different steps because essentially what we're learning today is how to add on to what you already know. Um, and it's essentially, this is going to be more effective working with the correct days, the correct energies, the correct colors and, add, and adding the right steps. Uh, so do feel free to try all of that. So there you have it. So far, we we basically covered uh, most of the steps of what I talk about in my effective candle magic class um, regarding how to take your candle magic to the next game. And we looked at the different candles that we have here. And we have lots of different oils. So I will uh, now talk about some of my favorite ones in just a moment. Also, before we start doing magic, it's always a really good idea to cleanse your energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have different types of We come hither for attraction work. Dragon's blood for good fortune. Easy street for money making. Karma cleaner for spiritual cleansing. This is the one that I would highly recommend. Um, it smells wonderful. It's really great for on the go. You can keep it in your purse, in your backpack. It brings a really good amount of product. Everything by Coventry Creations, I swear to the gods, is like my favorite products in the store. And I can never have enough. If I ever meet Jackie from Coventry, I think I might faint or like start, I don't know, laughing uncontrollably. I don't know. Um, we also have Keep Calm. Maybe I'll just use this one if I ever meet Jackie. <laughs> we have ninja power for protection work so if you've been paying attention protection work is going to be on what days saturdays we also have road opener to remove obstacles really great to use all the time if i had to pick any like my top favorite it's really really hard but i would say spiritual cleansing protection remove obstacles are some of my favorites. You can use these together, okay? So you can boost your your good, you can first cleanse yourself before you're doing your magic throughout the day to kind of keep your magic working. You can boost your good fortune. You can use good fortune to also uh, spray yourself before your magic working, lend yourself more energy. You, if you're doing money work, you can use money draw during the working you can use money draw while you're looking for work you can use money draw before going into work before a business meeting money draw smells really really good too perhaps your issue is staying calm so keep calm and lavender on but yes and the road opener is when you need to remove any obstacles along your way 
anything that's kind of staying in your way, this is a really great one. A really great benefit about using sprays is that you may not always be able to burn sage or palo santo or do any type of cleansing or a cleansing bath. So essentially, if you're like on the go, all that you need is to take out your magical spray and enchant yourself by misting your energy field, just like that. Super easy to use. All of the sprays that we're looking at from Wicked $19.99 for the bottle. Um, they all smell wonderful. And it's a, it's just for comparison, so you can kind of see like what it looks like. But it's enough. Like I keep one in my backpack and it's lasted me for quite some time. Um, we Sun's Eye that I'm a really big fan of as well. And they have a ritual mist. This is a good one to miss before you do any divination work, before you do any rituals, any spell casting. Um, and this one, our state of mind, or what I like to call the magic. Um, before you do. Alternatively, for those of you who have a little bit more time, Florida water is like an amazing all-purpose product reputed to help with cleansing, bringing good fortune. I'm Cuban. I'm from Miami, Florida. And um, over in Miami, every single Cuban household has Florida water. You don't, you don't mess without it. So and that's one of the things I like to think about. Uh, Florida water is $12.99 a bottle. Uh, you can add this to your wash. You can add this to your bath. You can use a little bit in a spray bottle and mist around you for protection. And then the ritual mist that we were talking about, which smells really wonderful, this one is $19.99 as well. So this is a really good size. It's like a jumbo size ritual mist. I only have a few of the ritual mist if you like it, but again, it's a really good way to cut to give a boost of magical energy to you. A lot of times when we're um, with our busy lives, by the time I get home, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so tired. I don't know if I have enough time for spell casting or whatever. And I'm like trying to, to stick to my right day, my right hour and everything like that. And so a little burst, a little pick me up like this can really make a huge difference so check out the sprays again the sun's eye is $19.99 the wicked good sprays are also $19.99 the spiritual cleansing is phenomenal highly recommend this one uh, if you want love we have come hither so before a date you can spray yourself before your love magic you can spray yourself so on and so forth Okay, cool. So you have, we've talked about, sorry, I'm trying to keep track. We talked about our candles, our candle holders, our sprays. These are all different steps that we can take to have effective candle magic. So you want your candle, your oil, you want to cleanse. So you, can, so you can have some good energy. Maybe you want to boost your energy. Things like that. Okay. So um, our next items that we're going to be looking at to help you with effective candle magic are actually these really cool on uh, rollers. So these are for oils. This is a set that we have, which is beautiful. It's by Earth Lux. These are oil roller bottles so let's say you decide to take home some road opener oil by motor city hoodoo and you're removing obstacles what better way than to enchant it a little more than by maybe using a little tiger's eye for confidence so you can actually um, use all the items in this kit like the pipettes the little funnel to add oils into these roller bottles and they can infuse with your favorite gemstone for whatever purpose you might need. And this is an extra layer for carrying that magic with you, okay? And this is $42.99 for the entire set. It's a really good deal. 
I, we do also have them individually in the store. I don't have all of them in stock, but I have lots of this kit and it's the best deal. Alternatively, you, we also have these gorgeous little vials. These are, wow, that's a good deal, $3.99. They're out of their minds. I know I didn't price this. And it comes with a gorgeous, cool, surgical steel kind of roller. I don't think that's hematite. Nope, that's surgical steel. And then you can take off this topper and add your favorite oil. And you can add your own favorite crystals. So this is another way to customize your magic. So we do have these mini little gem bottles. I recommend having these in stock. They're, uh, I believe, $2.99 a little bottle. We have amethyst, rose quartz, citrine, carnelian, peridot, tiger's eye. So whatever purpose you might have, these are super awesome to use. You can add them to also uh, kind of like around your candle while you're doing your candle work as well. But this way, this is something that you can customize. You can even make your own blends with different oils that we essentials. And use jojoba oil or almond, sweet almond oil as a carrier in your bottle. Add your favorite oils and your favorite crystals. And now you have a custom roller on the go magic container. Super cute. We have lots of pipettes. Um, this is how you extract oil. Okay, from your bottle. These are $1.00. And you just squeeze and it absorbs it. And then you can add it to your bottle or other spell work without having to waste a lot of oil. That's considering if your oil uh, does not have like a dropper or something like that. Okay. All right. So over here, we have an assortment of different oils. And this is re really, like, it takes the guesswork out for you. These blends are just phenomenal. My personal favorite is Van Van. So Van Van is an all-purpose formula. It contains lemongrass, citronella, um, vetiver, or vervain, which is part of the vervain family. And it's formulated with a bit of pyrite and carnelian traditionally. And it also contains uh, sink foil, or five-finger grass. All of these are aromatic and uplifting, very like lemony, citrusy kind of scented um, additional formula from New Orleans that will reverse negative luck into positive luck. Add Van Van to your wash, add Van Van to your hair, add Van Van to your jewelry, add Van Van on your disgruntled boss's office chair. I'm kidding, don't do that. But <laughs> but Van Van is something I always have in my backpack or in my pocket. I use it on the daily. Think of Van Van like your all-purpose charm. And it smells so freaking good. Okay. And I have, and I just stocked up, I just reordered Van Van, and I ordered a lot because I usually, again, all of my oils from Motor City are $11.99. Look at all that Van Van. And you get a Van Van, and you get a Van Van. Everyone gets a Van Van. If you're loving what you're seeing, go ahead and comment the name of the item along that way we can set it aside for you. And at the end of the video, you can go ahead and you can send us a private message uh, with your name, your shipping address, if you need it to be shipped, the items that you want. Uh, if you need to be PayPal invoice, we can do that as well. Uh, we also do curbside pickup. So that's something new that we're doing. The area and you wanna pick up some stuff, give us a call. Um, we Miss Cheryl and Brianna on standby and they will help you out. Okay, over here we have Lakshmi oil. We have Witch's Purse. This is great for money work. So if you want to manifest some money, do some candle magic like we learned today, use your Witch's Purse. Um, 
we have dragon's blood dragon's blood i like to think of when you need quick and powerful results if you need to add a boost of magic to what you're doing if you need something to manifest quick if you need extreme protection dragon's blood and the bottle says what does it say come on focus focus camera power up your magic yep that's what it does witch's purse cash in pocket yep that's correct <clears throat> so these are some great ones. We also have some pre-made blends over here by Dorothy Morrison. I highly recommend everything. Everything in Densum is exactly what it sounds like. It's when you deserve to have all of your wishes and desires granted <clears throat> and more. And why not? You deserve it. You have Forever Mine for love magic. If you need to enhance your sensuality, if you need to perhaps enhance your attraction, never mind is a good one. Perhaps you have an uh, undesirable bully or someone is being unfair and unruly with you and you need to send back that bad juju back at them. It sucks to be you. That's a good one. Poof, when you need to get rid of a situation or an obstacle, just poof it out of, out of your life. Shut your mouth for when people be tripping and talking gossip and smack behind your back. You got shut your mouth. Wishing mojo, good for any kind of desire, any kind of wishing magic. It smells really good. And waken the dead when you need to call upon your ancestors. This is really good also for um, divination. It's really, if you want your spirits to kind of talk to you a little more, waken the dead. Speaking of which, if you witches out there have, um, are having a little bit of trouble with divination lately or listening to the world and without the service charges, you got to love Dorothy. She's so funny. Now it does have an incantation. Whispers. Oh, there we go. Whispers on wind and whispers on mist, they are speaking, the spirits, but I'm missing the gist of what they are saying. So clear out the noise and open the channels so I hear the voice of each spirit clearly and can comprehend each word being uttered, beginning to end, so nothing is lost in faulty translation, and we can enjoy a great conversation. Love, love, love these. Um, the price on these are actually $16.99. I do have to reprice them. It looks like they got priced wrong. Uh, but Spirited Discourse is $16.99. All my Coventry candles of this size um, are $16.99. Then we have, let's see what other goodies we just got in. You guys are getting the first kind of exclusive peek at all this fun stuff. Ooh, we got our sun's eye can uh, oils. These are great. Protection. <laughs> uh, Joe, to answer your question about witch's purse, I want to save. Uh, I can look up the ingredients later for you and message you. How about that? All right, so we got protection oil. And all these blends contain herbs inside to give you the right purpose let's see we have prosperity okay so it's a prosperity blend by sun's eye psychic power i'm buying i'm i'm buying this tonight i'm setting this aside uh but psychic power is for divination work purification if you need to cleanse a situation yourself or others spirit guide so if you need help either meeting your spirit guide working with your spirit guide or to wear or use when you are, are working with them and you want a little a little extra energy I like to think of oils as a good way um, to change our mindset 
and to help us connect to the magical world. Vision quests, that sounds self-explanatory. Again, has all the right herbs and oils. All of these, by the way, we got success. So this is really good for any endeavor that you might be on. Perhaps if you are <clears throat> working on finding new work, um, or maybe you're in a leadership position and you need to win success. So the names are pretty self. Ninety nine. Let's open the next box. Oh, more candles. You guys, nothing makes me happier than candles and oils. Well, maybe like food. I like food a lot. Um, yes, get your money. Manifest it. What else? What else? What else? What's I have lots of money drawing, you guys. So if you need money drawing, let me know. Lot money drawing for days. It's, I, I guess the spirits are trying to tell us that we all need some extra money. Lucky gambler. Ooh. For those of you who like to try luck, try this on a Wednesday. Work with Mercury. See what happens. Lucky gambler. Good luck. Maybe team them up. I would totally team these up. Some money drawing. Lucky gambler. And good luck. That sounds fun. So I actually um, combined a few different oils a few months ago when before the quarantine. And I went to the casino and I went with $60. I played some slot machines and I left with 180 So that was kind of fun. And I, I, there's no, tr there's no, I don't know how to do games of chance. So honestly, I feel like it was the oils that helped me. Okay. Oh, we have... These are our, our pretty scented ones. Honey rose. These are very soft. Cocoa rose. So these are good for fragrances. These are good for like love. Sweet patchouli. Who doesn't love patchouli? I, I mean, I love patchouli for days. We got sandalwood. I'm going to set that aside for me. I need some of that. If my boss is watching, she's like, oh my god, why are you shopping while you're working? I'm like, I don't know, I can't help it. I can't help it. Patchouli musk. Okay. Those are... Tropical jasmine. That sounds yum. Garden of Delight. Okay, so my... So Angela taught me that Garden of Delight is a wonderful oil for love magic. Um, so if you have any love charms, if you want to <clears throat> put this in a mister and kind of like mi a diffuser in your bedroom, you can also team it up with your favorite roller and some rose quartz. And then we have your come hither. So it's all adding different layers to your working. But Garden of Delight... It's like a different blend of different bright flowers and some white flowers. I can't honestly remember all the different, I believe it's jasmine. Let me focus. With jasmine blossoms. So there's, it's their own proprietary blend with jasmine. Okay. Ooh, next box. Oh, jasmine. Okay. If somebody out there needs jasmine, like stat. Honeysuckle. And if you don't know the metaphysical property of something, just type in the name like lavender. And then type metaphysical properties on Google. And it will tell you what it does. Heliotrope. Now I tried to restock on all of our favorites and order a few new ones. So... We shall see patchouli, dark, essential, mm, dark-sided, vetiver. 
one of my personal favorites. Very earthy and also kind of lemony scents. It's, this is roots, resin, and herbs all kind of extracted together. Vetiver is one of the ingredients in Van Van as well. It smells really, really nice. <clears throat> then the uh, rest of the stuff I haven't really processed yet, but essentially the oil that I recommend to like everyone and their moms is Van Van. It's your all-purpose oil. We have, again, your witch's purse for monies. Dragon's blood for boosting your magic. Also, if you're having a hard time with like negative thoughts we, or just having a bad a run of bad luck, we have uncrossing. This is a jinx removal. Very useful. Again, all of our oils are eleven ninety nine from mortar from a Coventry, and if it's Sun's Eye, then they're nine ninety nine. Okay. So I hope you guys learned a couple of new things today. I feel that this is going to wrap up um, our lesson. Um, I had a lot of fun teaching you guys. Keep in mind that if uh, putting all these different components of spell work together is not something you're extremely familiar with, know that there is no harm in trying and practicing. Um, the same way that the first time you make your chicken noodle soup, it may not be the best tasting soup in the world, but through repetition and practice, then your chicken noodle soup is going to be freaking amazing. So I expect that with practice and repetition, uh, you will start learning what works for you and what doesn't. Keep a journal or a little note so that you can write down what day it is, what mood you were in, what phase of the moon we're in, uh, things like that. Um, because these will also be factors to look back at when you're trying to recreate or uh, add on or change your magic. Um, and then other things to keep in mind as well is that all the different lessons that we learned today about planetary hours, about using the correct day and symbols can be applied to our pre-made Coventry candles as well. These already smell amazing. Um, because they contain just a, a, almost a full amount of a bottle of oil in them. It has all the right oils already pre-made for you. It takes out the guesswork, saves you a bit of money. Um, but if you've been using these and they've been working good for you, that's awesome. Now try them with the lesson that we learned today. Cast a circle. Do it on the correct day. Try taking it a step up. Do the planetary hour. And see how that changes your manifesting game. There's a particular candle from this collection called Querent Collar. And um, it's used for when you need to attract business. And um, outside of work, I have my own little side thing going on. And I hadn't really heard from my customers or clients for a while. And so I used my Querent candle. And I kid you not, before it was done, I was already having phone calls. They're like, Gavin, what are you up to? And I'm like, hey, how's it going? So that was a pretty cool experience. I love these candles. They're super effective for me. Aside the oils um, from Motor City, we always have the matching candles as well. So if you love Van Van and everything that it does, it comes in a candle. Okay, I'm setting this one aside as well for me. I have a little pile of things that I'm buying today because I have I just got paid, so I, I can buy a candle or two. Um, oh gosh, I just want to buy them all. And then we have. <laughs> We have Crown of Glory. This is my one of my other favorite candles by them. Crown of Glory is when you need to wear your crown and be successful in whatever you do. Again, you can team up your candles. So you can team Crown of Glory with Van Van. So you're promoting good luck, and now you're promoting your own success together. You can also use Road Opener when you need opportunities to come your way, road opener. So road opener is, it says, lay out the path before you, clear it of obstacles and open the road to a smooth journey. With a pin or a nail or a toothpick, <laughs> inscribe your name on the side of the candle and the path that you need opened for you. 
light the candle and take it across your threshold to symbolically open your path and remove obstacles. You can light this candle every day until it is done. Remove all packaging before lighting. That, that makes sense, right? Please remove the packaging. But these are $16.99 and they smell amazing. They take some of the hard work out for you. We have High John the Conqueror. So High John is all about when you need to dominate a situation, when you need to manifest something against all odds. This is really good in using in conjunction with um, your crown of, of glory, with your van van, uh, with road opener. You can team these candles up. The Honestly, like the limits are your imagination. Um, High John the Conqueror. The legend of High John goes all the way back to Africa and was the first root used for hoodoo in America. This is powerful magic that continues to be used for success over any obstacle. Male virility, trickery, and success in getting your own way. Write your name and the magic that you want to achieve on a piece of paper. Turn the paper 90 degrees clockwise and write across it, High John, conquer this. Place the folded paper under your candle holder and light the candle every day until it's gone. Marie Ann says, do you have a black candle in that series? Um, sorry, Mary. If you mean the Motor City Hoodoo, um, there are some in black. They're usually for like protection or um, uncrossing, I believe. Like to remove negative energy. So, but if you need just a black candle for whatever working you're doing, again, we also have the C6 tapers that you can use and you can carve your intentions onto them. I hope that answers your question. Let's see what else we got. Waking the, oh, waking the dead for ancestor work. Uh, really good to call on your spirit guides or for divination. I like to, purple is a good color for intuition. So for all you tarot enthusiasts, this is a really great candle to have on your working table or on your altar. I'm just moving some boxes around because I have a lot of stuff to kind of go through. Come to Mama. So Come to Mama is normally used for attraction and love magic to mama to draw to you opportunity as well and mary to answer your question no it uh using oil to anoint your candles does not create a fire hazard whatsoever we, um again these pre-made ones are already infused with oils so these guys already contain oils um oils are part of candle making so you should be fairly safe um, in that process, what I would recommend is like, don't dip your candles in like alcohol or something like that. Then that might be a fire hazard. Just don't do it. Um, <laughs> practice safe casting. Seriously. <laughs> what other new candles do I have? Forever mine for all you lovers out there. And forever mine is really good, especially if you're in quarantine and You've been stuck with your honey bunny, and maybe you're just spending a little too much time together. You're going a little crazy. Forever Mind can help bring in that loving energy back, kind of get things flowing again in your favor. Again, I always recommend team it up. Team everything up with Van Van. No boyfriend? Get some Van Van. <laughs> I need Van Van. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am buying some today. We also have, for those of you who need extra protection, we have the Evil Eye Pillar. This is legit. It's Juniper and Rose to help protect you and your loved ones. It's blessing or it's words of power. Say, with strength of will, I weave this spell through sight, sound, touch, and smell. Earth, water, air, and fire. A web of protection, this magic does sire. By the lady and the lord, I cast this impenetrable ward. And these are twenty six ninety nine. I know that we don't really read reverse 
numbers on the camera, but it's twenty six. It's twenty six ninety nine. This will last you quite quite some time. We have the Sacred White Sage for cleansing. <sighs> this smells like like clean house, clean laundry, clean house, and it's not overpowering. It's a very soft scent. Um, this is good for bringing in some cleansing energy into your home, into any room that you're in. It's $26.99. All of these are by Coventry Creations, and they're made with the highest quality pure essential oils. Then, for the Busy Witch, we have the Dragon's Blood Pillar. So... You can, and again, with the pillars, I like to tell people, this isn't like a one shot, one intention kind of thing. You can use your pillars over and over and over and over until they're done. Think of them like, again, like with cooking, like you, you buy a bottle of your herb of, let's say, basil. You don't just use that for one dish and then throw it away. You keep your basil in your, in your repertoire, in your kitchen pantry, and you use it again and again. We have sweet grass. Sweet grass also smells very soft and delicious. And sweet grass is used when you need to bring back the sweetness in life, when you need to let go of labels and judgment and fears and all the crazy things that are happening. We use sweet grass. Each human is reliant upon the next to take care of their own piece of the world environmentally spiritually and emotionally and mentally in the words of gandhi if we become change we wish see in the world we become the heroes in our lives this candle is part of the uh, their world magic collection and it is used to bring that sweetness back into your life so if you're worried if you have lots of fears if you're if you're staying up at night because of judgments and obligations the sweet grass is a good choice. Alternatively, you can burn all these bad boys together. You can team them all up. They're going to be great for you. And last but not least, because I'm reaching the end. This time, I'm for, I'm for sure. We have fiery wall of protection. So if you need to protect yourself, protect your loved ones, this is the candle that you want. And it's blessing reads... Fiery wall protection, protection from the evil, harmful thoughts and actions of others. Thieves, cons, gossips, predators, and jerks, beware. Use a clean sheet of paper to write your name. Now draw three concentric circles around your name and write around the circle, fiery wall of protection. Place this under your candle holder and burn this candle a little bit every day until it's done. Fiery wall of protection. Think of this as your spiritual firewall. Okay, for your energy. And how funny, the symbol it chooses, or it tells you to draw, it said three consecutive circles. How funny, didn't we just talk about that? I could have sworn I told you guys use that symbol. So yes, symbols are very powerful. And I hope that you guys had a lot of fun today in my online version of Effective candle magic hopefully once our st our store doors open again to large crowds in the public uh you guys who are watching can actually tune in to my full version of the class where we can interact and get our hands uh with all messy with oils and candles and herbs and it's a lot of fun and you get to banter with all the other uh witchlings that are here it's, it really is my favorite class to teach um and if you have enjoyed yourself, give us a shout out. Feel free to shop with us. Share this video for others uh, to see. Um, the first half literally is the same kind of lesson and content that I teach in my class, just a smaller version. Um, and then don't forget, if you love what you have seen and you want to shop with us for any single item that you have seen in this video, you want to send us a private or a direct message to Crescent Moon Gifts with your name. That's important. Your name. What's your name? Your phone number so that we can call.
back to you. Okay, name, phone number. You can give us your, oh, your shopping list, the items that you love, that you need. I hope you guys will get some Van Van because everyone needs some Van Van. I saw Ruby's getting some Van Van. So your name, your phone number, your shopping list. Do you need shipping? If so, send us your shipping information. What is your shipping address? Or do you want curb side pickup? Because we have curbside pickup between 12 to 6 p.m. I believe every day. As long as you're someone in this building, you can pick up your stuffs. Curbside pickup, 12 to 6. Okay? So again, send us a message with your name, your phone number, your shopping list. Are you doing shipping? If so, add your shipping address or curbside pickup. And then... And also, uh, oh, and Mary Ann, the tapers that we were looking at today, the C6, these are $1.99, I believe. The mini chimes, which are a lot smaller, are two for a dollar. Uh, the difference is that with the tapers, you, you actually have more space for carving into them, and I do prefer that. Uh, but the mini ones are just as fine as well. We have just about every color that you might need. Okay, so again, thank you for joining us. Shoot us a private message with your name. My name is your phone number, add your area code. Just like so. Okay, your shopping list. <laughs> And your shipping, if you want it to be shipped, read a list of 1313 Mockingbird Lane. And if you want to come pick it up, curbside pickup, 12 to 6 p.m. All right, guys, I had a great time doing this live video for you. I hope you're having a lot of fun and I'll see you all very soon. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.